All right, I bet this has happened to you. You meet someone for the first time, you shake their hand, two minutes later, can't remember for the life of you what that person's name is. Memorization can be tough, whether it's someone's first name or whether it's a crazy aviation acronym like Tomato Flames. But I have discovered this one awesome hack that is gonna completely change the way you remember things. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna help you out a ton. Okay, so here's the technique. And for what it's worth, I didn't make this up. This technique has been in use for thousands of years. It's called the memory palace technique. And I first discovered it when I was reading a book called Moonwalking with Einstein. And the author goes into detail about how he actually won the US memory championship just by using this technique. And it's super helpful in everyday life or in memorizing crazy things like tomato flames in aviation. Our brains are really hardwired to remember spatial orientation better than we are just random lists of numbers or letters. I'll give you an everyday example. If your friend tells you to come over to my house and he gives you a list of directions to turn left here, go straight, now turn right, it's gonna be really hard to remember. But once you've driven to your friend's house, it's really, really easy to remember how to get there the next time because you recognize the stop sign. You recognize the gas station to turn right at. You know all that stuff. And our brains are really hardwired to remember things in relation to other things. And so the memory palace technique really leverages this idea to help memorize everyday things, whether it's someone's first name or in aviation, a crazy acronym like tomato flames. So let's go through the tomato flames example. This is a really hard one for some reason for me to memorize, whether it's just memorizing, going over and over down the list of, of you know, all the components and, and just trying to hard memorize that or looking at an avionics panel and thinking, okay, what's essential, what's non-essential. None of that has worked for me, but this technique has. So the technique using the tomato flames example would be this. You want to start by envisioning a physical location that you know really well. Like take your house, for instance. You know that very well, you know the kitchen, you know the bathrooms, you know the living room, you know all of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna envision walking through that space and placing the different elements of tomato flames in those places. And not just in an everyday fashion, like, oh, here's a tachometer or here's an altimeter. We're gonna think of really, really dramatic things that are really unforgettable. Kind of like when you have a dream and it was really vivid and didn't make sense, but you remember it like it was yesterday because it was so extreme, it's hard to forget. So I'll give you my example. And I memorize it a little bit out of order because it makes more sense for me, but we'll start with the tachometer. So I will envision walking into my house and I don't just see a tachometer lying on the floor. What I'll envision is I walk in in the front entryway, there's a car there, which there would never be a car there, but it's very memorable. And it's revving its engine like crazy. So I envision the tachometer of the engine here, just RPMs are going nuts because there's this car in the front entryway of my house and I can't forget that. So I'll walk in and I think, okay, tachometer is the first thing on the list. And then going out of order a little bit on tomato flames, I envision the two people in the car buckling their seat belts because they're about to go for a ride in this car the engines are revving like crazy. So suddenly I have tachometer and I have seat belts. Okay. So I walk past the car and I go into my kitchen and in the kitchen, there's this huge boiler that doesn't belong there. I don't have a boiler in my house and it's just steams coming out of it. Like the pressure just looks like it's about to explode because it has so much pressure and there's a pressure valve on there just going nuts. So I think, okay, there's a oil pressure gauge. So you start to envision these really dramatic examples walking through, through your house and you don't want to just walk into a room and you see an altimeter gauge sitting on the floor. What you want to do is envisioning walking into your backyard and there's this sudden gust of wind that takes you up into the air and you start flying all of a sudden you're thinking whoa i all of a sudden got a bunch of altitude the altimeter is going like crazy okay now i remember okay altimeter is on that list and so instead of just memorizing the hard example or the hard list of equipment you need in tomato flames it's super simple you're just envisioning walking through your house remembering these unforgettable things that you're seeing that wouldn't ordinarily be there so that's how you apply the memory palace technique take somewhere that you know very, very well and start putting really, really dramatic visual reminders of whatever it is you're trying to memorize into those rooms, into those spaces. And the more senses you can incorporate, the better. Don't just say, okay, I saw this. Think about how something smells or how something feels, all the different senses. So that way it's this sensory overload as you're walking through your house and it'll make a list of items really, really unforgettable. So that's how you can apply tomato flames today and you can use it for any other thing you're trying to memorize uh, in your life and so when it comes time to memorize something different you just pick a new memory palace you can use your childhood home you can use your office 
Uh, you know, you can use all sorts of things, just somewhere that you know very well and can start to build uh, kind of these stories as you're walking through the space to help you memorize things. So I hope that makes tomato flames easier and all the other crazy aviation acronyms we need to know. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We're coming out with a couple new videos every week and uh, join us as we try to become better pilots. Thank you.